Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, and today I will be solving a Rubik's Cube from Dollar Tree, then taking all of the stickers off of it. So, I got this at Dollar Tree today for obviously $1.25, it's still sealed, I only got this around an hour ago, and I bought it for the purpose of this YouTube video, it will turn very bad. I have another one here to show you. It does not turn that good. It catches up a lot. It has, if you try corner cutting, it will pop. I've had multiple of these. And yeah, we're just going to be doing a solve on it to see how fast I can solve it. Then taking all of the stickers off of it to make a force cube. So let's get started. And there is multiple versions of these cubes. There is one in arrows. One in hearts, as I have here, and then I think there's also ones in, like, spades and other symbols. But I just picked the first one that I saw. And I'm pretty sure they also have a barrel version of these, like a barrel cube, which I do not have. And it's very, very sandy. Let me put it up close to the mic real quick. Yeah, very sandy, but compared to this one, which I have done a few solves on for around the past six months, every time to time, if I'm feeling bored, this is how the one that I have used a lot sounds. Yeah, there's a big difference. So I am going to grab my timer here and do a quick solve. I'm going to try and put the timer as far away as possible to where you can still see the time, but it's not much in camera frame. The brand new cubes turn even worse. I wouldn't even be surprised if this popped. There we go, that scrambling took a while, that hurt my wrists. Now, I am going to try to do a solve. With part of the timer still in frame, so that I can have more of the cube in frame. And I will get started. There's the crossed arm. I have to set down the cube for a second since my arms hurt so bad from the solve. It's going on at two minutes now. There we go. I think I can return back to it. I'm just going to keep the timer out of frame so I don't accidentally stop the timer. I'm setting down the cube yet again because it hurts my arms even more. We're approaching 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And now we're on to the final corners, finally. And... Uh, that hurt. Four minutes and four seconds. That's blank because that's actually a zero, but four minutes and four seconds for that for solving this dollar store cube. Now it's gonna take even longer to take the stickers off, but I'm going to do a time lapse for that now.
And that is the last sticker. Now I just have to get this last little part out of the way. That did not peel. And that's the last sticker. Wow. Wow. And that is it. Although there is a lot of stuff left behind from stickers that didn't peel all the way. I would say that is it for now. Still turns as bad as it did before. That took me a very long time. But. This is what a normal one looks like. And this is what the other one looks like. This is the comparison between the two. And this is all the stickers. Yeah, that took quite a while. But it's fun to mess around with. It's a good fidget toy to use if you're bored because it always stays solved with one turn. It always stays. And it's fun to mess around with. And that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will see y'all in another video. Bye-bye.